Alright, welcome back to another Scraptastic session of uh, Spyro 2, uh, the worst game in the trilogy. Fight me. <laughs> what uh, is full of opinions today? Send me a hate mail, I love it. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna try and finish um, Autumn awesome, awesome Plains. Yeah, Autumn awesome Plains today. Uh, I don't know how much we have left, but. We did quite a lot last time, so shouldn't be too much longer. I hope not. I can't. This game gives me the gives me gives me spin. <laughs> right, we done this. Level. I think it's just lowers down here. All right. Yay! The best stage. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, like we. I'm gonna kind of just rush through to get the talisman here because uh, this and another level here. Oh gosh. Also, yeah, you ate. Right. Nope. It's not really a good thing when you want that to happen. Because, <laughs> good lord, that's annoying. Hello there, Mr. Dragon. Hmm, you're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. Yeah, so to my dismay, we have to rescue all these guys, and it uh, opens up this little area of the temple, I guess. Thank you for releasing me. There are what still the some heck? sages trapped in stone. <laughs> You're welcome, Sparrow One Dragon. <laughs> um, how come the fonts here look different from the ones in the... The fonts look different from the ones of Laura. Like, Laura's a font here. It's different. Hmm, that is true. I don't know. Allura. Make it stop! Yeah, I'm just gonna skip these. Uh, I guess Alora is like special because main, uh, like main side character. That fit, that pig was just dancing. He was yeah. dancing and you killed him. Uh, yeah, the reason why I'm ignoring most of this stuff is because um, there's a mini game that you can't finish until you have the head bash, and the way the game does it is that there's two like two parts to the mini game where one you have to. Uh, bring the alchemist to Hunter, and then you you and Hunter team up to destroy some Earth Shapers. But the thing is, like, they get, uh, when you team up with Hunter, you need the Headbash to kill the Earth Shapers, and the game doesn't tell you that. Um, so you can do the first half of the minigame with the mo alchemist, and then the Hunter will just be like, ah, oh, nah, you need to move, move. Um, and it would it wouldn't be so bad if, if when you go back to the stage it would just cut to Hunter's mini game, but it doesn't, and you have to do the alchemist again. So what I'm gonna do is just get the talisman because I need that to do the boss. And after after we do the boss and get the head bash in the third world, I'm just gonna head back here uh, to actually play the level proper. Say, say, kind of similar to um, another stage, but that one's a bit more offensive, in a sense, because there's a mini game that you need the head bash for in that world as it's well. Great to be free. But now there is only uh, one the way the level is designed makes it so you kind of you're kind of forced to play a lot of it. Um, anyway, so yeah, there's not really a lot of way to work around that. You're gonna you're gonna have to play. Um, that stage, pretty much like all the way through twice, at least. Which uh, is... yeah, Harry, the background noise is kind of drowning you out. Is the game too loud? Yeah, it's a bit loud. Alright, uh, what I can, what I can do, uh, I can put this down. I'll put it down to two. All right, how's it how's it sound now? Better. <laughs> All right, I completely missed one of these satyrs, or whatever they're called. They 
Seder. Seder's, yeah. And it's right here, okay. Nope. Now that you have rescued all the Satyrs in Fracture Hills, you ought to go into the temple. But yeah, I like... Mm. I mean, I've, I've said it before, like, I'm not a big fan of the backtracking um, in this game, and for the most part it's pretty harmless, but these two levels are really big offenders, especially if you don't know you need the head bash. Because, like, the first time you play the game, you're not going to know that's going to be the case. And it's kind of like a beginner's trap. Alright, let's get in here. Poor helpless little me, blah blah blah. Sorry, short stuff. I was only in here because I like the peace and quiet. Anyway, um, the other fawns wanted me to give you this talisman. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back here later. Ah! Why? It just makes me feel bad for them. <laughs> Who's the real villain in this scenario? <laughs> yeah, but enough of that. What do we got here? Magma cone. I think we I think we can finish this level. Yeah, this should be fine. <laughs> yeah, let's just not care about the guy that just got murdered. <laughs> Hello, Spyro. I suppose you're here for the party. I'm afraid it's been cancelled because the stupid Earth Shaper set off the volcano. Yeah, a lot of Earth Shapers in these stages, apparently. I guess spawns just look different depending on the stage, the world you go to. Yeah. No, there's nothing here. No. Surprisingly. Plot twist is a mystery jar that you get to go back for. I wouldn't put it past this game. Yeah, this is a. Oh, let me actually do that. This is a fine level, though. Has a. Good. Verti uh, has some good um, verticality and stuff. And I like the way they take care of the R shapers in this. Because you, you yourself can't necessarily, can't really kill them, so they, the uh, characters kind of do little clever things. And I keep getting hit by everything. Alright. Oh, I can't, I just can't do that, okay. Uh, so how are you doing? Uh, I'm alright. <laughs> what did you think about these lava graphics or whatever? This is one of the first levels I've... When I had my... Yeah, excuse me. Since I used... <laughs> this is the level I recall from playing the demos on CTR. Hmm. Oh, that's a, a question, question actually. Uh, what um, what stages did they actually um, let you play in the Aspire 2 and 3 demos? Like, it's like CTR and Crash Bash that had those? Yeah. CTR had Spyro 2, Crash Bash had Year of the Dragon. 
Yeah. The levels you play for Spyro 2, it was this and, um, what was that level called? The Monks? Let's go ask the Monks. Uh... What was that level called? Is it in uh, this game? It's in the first... Yes, it's in, it's in the first hub... portion of the hub world. Are you doing, like, Idle Springs? Yes, that's it. Yeah. I got that in this. Okay. The Fire Through Demo. Alright. I should probably do it from here. Yeah, I mean, uh, when I, like, I don't want to say complain because it sounds like I don't enjoy the level design, but, like, when I say I prefer playing 1 and 3, it's mainly because, like, stuff like that, uh, where you have to use Spyro's gliding to your advantage and, like, just make cool little jumps like that is a lot more infrequent in this game, and I just wish there were more instances of that. You want more platforming in your platformer? I want more platforming. And I want more, more, just moments where you kind of have to think outside the box because, uh, for my money, um, I just find Spyro 2's level design a little bit too simplistic for its own good half the time. But that's just me. But, I mean, like I said, uh, if you want to get into Spyro, this is probably the best way to start. But, you know. Goodness gracious! <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Yay! So I can from the Crash Bandicoot School of Death Animations. Yeah. Oh, can I? I don't know if I can reach that. It doesn't look it. This is probably, this stage is probably the most you'll see the ladder uh, ability get used. And I, that is, uh, saying that, calling the lad ladder climbing an ability is just weird to say. Do you ever think Spyro just looks at those butterflies and asks himself, is this a pigeon? Huh? I mean, maybe. Should I try? I'll go for it. No. I got that though. I forget how you're supposed to get up there. Wait. Nope. There we go. That's one way to do it. I think that's a mini game in there. Yeah, that's a pretty cool level. A lot of night, uh, funny uh, deaths going on, and good platforming. Okay, the weird chanting in this game, this level the sound theme is weird. Hmm? What do you mean? Like the background chanting in the music. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. This one suffers from a similar issue of the other ones I've talked about. Because the, the concept is fine. Um, and it's not a, it's not a bad mini game in, in like, just for what it is. But it's just a camera view. Because, like, it's, 
the the camera view stays as the get as it usually is, but that means that so you that means you can you can't really see where what's going on, which gives Hunter an unfair advantage because he's an AI. So like, it's just one of those things where if they just made a simple camera change, it would fix the entire problem, which is. Kind of just a running thing with this game. <laughs> and I really hope uh, they change or like fix some of this stuff in Reignited. Okay, you win. I don't know. Well, yeah. I just imagine Hunter just got stuck down here. You know, yeah. when someone get him. I mean, at the very least, I'd like them to touch I'll up con the uh, controls for, like, the secondary Let's characters in Spyro 3. What do you say? Please. I'm ready when you are. Like, Agent, uh, no, Agent 9 is bad, but Sergeant Byrne is okay, um, Bentley so could use some loosening up. Yeah. Uh, Sheila? I thought she was okay for the most part. Sheila is okay, but she feels really... What's the word? Uh, something about it just feels off to me. I guess I didn't mind too much because I guess uh, the level design gets accommodated that. Yeah. Like, she's really stiff and slow, if that's the right word to use. Also, Hunter's wrecking me right now. Ugh. That's nonsense. I'm just gonna follow yeah, Hunter so he doesn't get it. Oh come on, he like gets it instantly. Nope! Oh, this is gonna be tight. Yes. You're really good. I'm going to have to come up with some harder games. For now, please don't. No. I guess you earned it. I like how we need the orbs to progress and like beat Repto and stuff. And, but yeah, like Hunter has a bunch of them, and he's just like, "Ah, oh, you gotta play these mini games first, bro." Fly through my rings. Yeah. I mean, he's. He's even worse in Spyro 3 because, like, you have to stay, save the, the dragon, so that's like Spyro's race you're holding hostage, dude. Uh, where I, I can't see where I'm looking at. Right, let's just go over here. I don't think there's any. If there's anything else there, we'll find out with the treasure finder later. Yeah. Wait, hmm? I think I saw uh, one of those bad basket gem containers on one of the cliffs. Oh, right. oh, jeez. Hmm. Yeah, oh. Oh, that's just the snow. Draw distance. I'll check back there again. Is it like, do you see it like around over there somewhere? Hmm. I could have just jumped over there like that, well. Wow. No, I didn't see anything. Hmm. Alright, let's just go and move on. Yeah, uh, do you have anything else to say about the whole, like, uh, characters thing? Because, like, uh, we were talking about, like, Sheila and stuff. Because, um, I don't know, like... <laughs> 
Sheila's fine. Um, and I, uh, hmm. Thinking about it, well, um, I, f I probably, uh, my least favourite side character is probably, um, S Sergeant Bird, to be honest. Um, like, not counting, like, Bentley's boxing game. Uh, but, I don't know what it is exactly, but I just, like, compared to the other characters, I don't, Enjoy Sergeant Bird as much. What the heck? I got uh, my phone. My call was lagging, so I cut it. I hung up so I could try and connect again. Okay. All right. Did you hear what I last said? You hate Sergeant Bird, you heartless monster. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I don't mind Sergeant Bird that much. Um, and apparently it has a strafing feature if you don't play on, on the active mode, um, which would make things a lot easier if I knew that, um, but I don't know, just controlling, con controlling Sergeant Bird, I just don't enjoy as much as the others. And yes, I actually, I actually, uh, I actually like Agent 9. <laughs> ropes uh and i mean he is the last character you play as so i can kind of understand the difficulty uh rising up quite drastically at that point i mean there's a difference between difficulty and just bad control i mean the i mean the control isn't great but mm, i don't think it's that bad and I mean, I like the style of gameplay, like, it, it, you can play other games that do that stuff better, but for what it's worth, uh, I think it's decent enough. But, I don't know, there'll be t plenty of time to talk about that in Spyro 3. Right now, we're uh, trying... Yeah, I meant... Hmm? It, we'll get to him, we'll get to Agent 9 in time. Yeah. They're just climbing up this like volcano or whatever. This is probably the most you, the uh, most you'll get out of the uh, ladder ability. Like not even just in this game, like in the trilogy in general. Because I don't remember Spyro Three using it that much. The volcano, Spyro. Things were getting a little too hot. Like a toilet seat. By the way, yeah. The talisman I was saving for just... the party later. I think you deserve it more. <laughs> Put it over the volcano and you're good. Yeah, we're not done with the stage yet though, so. Um, I don't think there's I don't think there's a skill point. There is not. Okay. Hey Spyro! You're just in time for the party! Well you would be if those Cheddar. nasty lava monsters had <laughs> Cheddar. Hits. It just won't be the same without party hits. <sighs> but um, I mean we've like brought it up a few times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a pretty fun little challenge. Just fly around. Uh, you get the uh, these molten rock things or whatever, and shoot out these these guys. Do you have to use the molten rock? Um, I'm not sure. Let me try. Yeah, they. Don't seem to be affected by the flame. Nah. And I highly doubt I can charge into them. But, you know, it's a fun little challenge to fly around, kill these guys, and yeah, you can get a orb and everything's right with the world. Everything's right with the world. But, um, now we've mentioned it a few times uh, with the Reignited trilogy being a thing, but were your general thoughts of, like, that being a thing and like what you've seen so far. I think a lot expected it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm alright with it, I just... I hope they... I hope Toys for Bob's willing to take a few more liberties, take more 
Liberty sort of sake of modernizing the games and my character vision did crash. Yeah. Because some of those, like, old design choices for Crush didn't need to be there in uh, Insane. Um, game looks pretty, that's it. That's for certain. What else? Yeah. The game looks really um, good, visually. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm kind of up too much with a brighter color palette. Yeah. Probably matches the renders. I can kind of miss the subdued pastels that the old trilogy used. Mm. Oh, jeez. Like, uh, uh, I'll look closer to a hero's tale than they do the Apple games. Yeah, I've heard, um, like, that comparison, actually, yeah. I've never played Hero's Tale, so... It's kind of sad, uh, like, well, I mean, it's not entirely sad, because I, I have played the original trilogy, which is good in and of itself, but the only other Spyro game I've played is Into the Dragonfly, <laughs> so take that, uh, take that what you will. I had Season of Flame yeah. on the Game Boy Advance, that was fun. Yeah, I've heard Season of season Flame is decent. I'm, I haven't heard good things about Ice, though. Um, hmm, I don't know, I didn't play it, but that came up before. It seems like it was decently received by critics. Mm. I like how they offered you that sparkly magic stuff to get you back. Yeah. Spire games are pretty generous with that kind of stuff. Like, when you, they uh, get rid of that kind of, um, kind of game design where you fall off and you have to go all the way back up. Like, they usually put, like, a whirlwind. I think now we just need to go gems at hunting. I think there's some still around here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Reignited Trilogy. Uh, I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm hoping again, like, they try and fix issues the original games had and not, and try not to focus too much on being authentic because there's a point where that's not really a good idea anymore. And we, you know, we saw that with Insane. They fixed a lot of issues, but some of the problems, like the backtracking and the, um, uh, motorcycle, the plane. Yeah, like the thing with Crash Free is a uh, a lot. I feel like the fits, at least some of them, some of the vehicles got even worse, which is kind of sad. The plane got a lot better, but like that's one out of like two or three others that got worse. Um. I'm mainly referring to the jet ski and the motorbike. They rode the jet ski? How can you do that? Yeah. And they- the, It was the, perfect! <laughs> and the motorcycle, um... It wouldn't be so bad if it, di if it didn't take forever to turn. Like, that's the main thing that kills it for me. The jet ski was perfect in the original game. Like, they somehow nailed that in, not in the 90s. Yeah. They went to, they were trying too hard to make Ensign's jet ski realistic, and it just doesn't work. Also, this is the level I was talking about earlier, where we're gonna, you're gonna have to play, pretty much play through the entire thing twice. And this, mainly the reason why I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Spirit Particle thing, because to get through the stage itself, you're gonna have to kill most of the enemies just to get through it um and again you need the head bash to do a mini game that is like right at the end of this of the of the level like uh yeah you, yeah quick thing you just have these like berries those are apples yeah yeah the berry apples i guess uh, you, it's, you, uh, feed it to this guy and he goes, like, all massive Hulk mode or whatever. 
but yeah. But yeah, the, the, the um, head bash thing is uh, locked behind a spirit particle gate, uh, like, s super move gate or whatever. Um, so, yeah, there's no workaround, and it's kind of annoying. And I don't know, the only, the, uh, only way they can they could really fix something like this if is if they move this level um, to the uh, third world or the third home world, and I don't think they do that. Because at least with at least with Fracture Hills, um, you can nullify the backtracking a little bit if you just if you just rush through the stage first and do the other stuff later. But in this stage, you just can't really. But. It would just... I don't really know what they were trying to do with this, because... I'm generally not that big... I, I'm generally okay with backtracking. Um, but I don't think Spyro really... Uh, really uh, benefits from that at all, and it just feels like... Unneeded padding, where, like... Yeah, they could have just... They could have just, like, pl uh, given you the head bash before the stage or something like that and you know oh hi Shante yes <laughs> I mean the stage itself is fine uh, I like the little like gimmick going on with it and uh, the enemies are, have cool designs I suppose Because I do want to make it clear, like, I do, I have a decent amount of criticism with this game, but I still, I still do like it, um, but, you know. Not a lot of people seem to notice the flaws. Get a berry from a tree, but you can jump over a, a pit. Yeah. Oh man, I love that video game logic. Knife. I think. Uh... The, uh, le in a little bit, we'll... I mean, these guys kind of resemble them, but I think it, it, at some point we're gonna see, like, the return of the Sparrow 1 kind of thieves. Yay! Burning boo! Oopsie. First life loss, I think. Yeah. It's pretty, uh... It's pretty hard to die in this game. Yeah. Spyro, Spyro was never really, like, difficult in that sense, really. Like, some t there are, like, select few enemies in Spyro 1 that uh, are quite uh, challenging. But for the most part, you can just flame or charge them with before they really do anything. <laughs> it's really, like, just collecting everything in the, the platforming and stuff. That is the uh, challenge. Hitting the bush with one of those lava rocks should work. All right, I need to go back. I completely forgot what this thing was for. Okay, I still counted. Wait, does this stage have a skill uh... point? No. Oh. oh, okay, we got a mystery jar. Man. Spyro, three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamp. Oh, here we go. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. Nah, 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 nah. 
Right, well, it's not the same guys, but it's the same voice clips. They look cuter than the old ones. Yeah, Sparrow Free literally just rips the Sparrow One Thieves. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. A little bit disappointing. I'm okay with that. Honestly, I'm, I like the thieves. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I, I, like, the, I like the designs. <laughs> yeah, I do too. And it did. Uh, even though, like, when when I first played the trilogy, like when I went to Sparrow Three, I felt oddly nostalgic seeing those guys again, but. I don't know. It would have been nice to have uh, like new designs or altered designs or something. I thought he was the mystery jar. <laughs> oh, that's another thing I'm looking forward to in Reignited: fixed uh, draw distance because you know, that's an issue with these old games. Like, it's most it's noticeable mainly in collector funds where you need to look for things. Uh, so it's like, yeah. No, being able to see where everything is, like from really far away, is would be appreciated. Yeah, nice. Kind of, kind of the problem with having 3D platformers have their height of popularity in the infancy of 3D gaming. Yeah. <laughs> so when we were just getting the hang of things, really. At least with like Crash, uh, I can give a, give the Crash series credit in this regard. The, like being l being like uh, linear games, uh, you don't really have that issue. Yeah, I think they. I think Night Dog actually had the right idea early on. Yeah. Because <laughs> I heard like uh, the way they designed the Crash games is like uh, they only load enough the the le parts of the level that you uh, are going to see. Uh, so they can like focus on making the the game look as good as possible because the because the PS One only has to render like those specific points um, at a time or whatever, which is kind of interesting actually, and very smart game design. Yeah. Apparently, that's, I've heard from the grapevine, and by grapevine I mean one person. The PS One games loaded as you played them, and the rapid port loaded everything. Thing at once. Yeah, because next gen hardware, boy. Why? So imagine that might be why it, load, it takes too so long to load. Yeah. Now oh, come on. Can't get away from me. Thanks for bringing back. <laughs> Three magic lamps. Now you don't even know where it is. This orb. Some fairy hmm. left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. Hmm. What are, you, what are you saying about like Naughty Dog and like the thing? Scrappy? I'm here. Hmm. Did you have anything else to say about the thing, or...? About the thing, what thing? Uh, Rafa the, uh, no Naughty Dog. Yeah, Rafa Cortex. And all that. I sincerely wish Universal hadn't rushed Traveler's Tales. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't, I still wouldn't mind a ra remake of Rafa Cortex down the line. I wouldn't mind that, I suppose. I mean, I feel like it would be better, they'd be better off like making like their own version of Crash 4 and and like bring back like elements of Rafa Cortex because I feel like uh, fixing uh, Rafa Cortex itself would, uh, it would, you'd have to just flow, just re or remake the game. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind just doing that. I don't think. Well done, Spyro. Now yeah. that you have all fourteen talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door. All right, we got Spyro. everything. Are you ready? This is the last boss, right? I I think yeah, it's totally the last boss. There's totally not a third area, uh, but I think there's a speedway we need to do first. <laughs> 